Hi, my name is Kai and today we want to have a look on the 2D panel arrangement in ePlan. How to create a macro for the 2D panel arrangement, a video about this already exists on my channel, so I will put you the link down in the video description. But anyhow, we will have a look on the database, where to fill in the data for the dimensions. We will insert a specific page for the panel arrangement and place a mounting plate and place some parts on the mounting plate and generate the report. So stay tuned. So when you want to start with a 2D panel arrangement, you have to start with a specific page. So we have here our page navigator and for example, we want to make the panel arrangement for the enclosure A1. We can go here with a right click, click new and add a new page. The document type I think is ELU and the page should be one. The page type, this is very important, needs to be panel layout and you can give the panel the page description, for example, panel layout as well. And you have to have a look on the scale factor because in the moment we have a scale factor one by one, one to one, that means uh, when you have a bigger cabinet, may most probably you need to make a scale frag factor one to five or one to ten. So I will use one to five for this example. And now we can click OK and have a new page in our drawing. So this draw this page is now empty and we need to insert a mounting plate. So therefore we go to insert and here to mounting plate. And here we can make a rectangle. We need to give a device tag. We also um, can, can see here on the tab format, the high and width. So if you know the exactly size of your mounting plate, you can fill out these data. For example, we say it's 799 and 1,900. So, okay. And now you see that a complete cabinet is much too big for our page. And it means we need to add, edit the scale factor, go into our page navigator on the properties and Set the scale factor one to ten. Okay, and now you can see that our mounting plate fits on our page. So the next step we can do is, for example, we want to fill in some cable darts. So we can use the rectangle, or maybe you have some parts, and it works like all the other parts. We will see later. you see that here comes a small red rectangle. This is the so-called object object snap. So when you have a look here on object snap, if it doesn't work for you, you can here activate the object snap. This is very helpful in my opinion. So when we use the rectangle, go to this corner here and just place it up to here. So and now we will change the size. It's the high should be, for example, 50 millimeters. And maybe for a better view, you can also say fill surface. And then it looks like a cable duct. So when we want to insert another one, for example, on top, we just need to duplicate it with D on your keyboard. Go this to the top corner and place it here. You need to see you need to add how many you want. So I just want to have one. And when you want another one, vertical, you can mark this corner, go to the bottom one, and, and now you can see that below my mouse, there's also the point entry X and Y. And for example, when I want to have a 60 millimeter 
cable duct, I can directly enter the 60 mm. And after the 60 mm, I make a space. I can enter the length for Y. And for example, I take 1,800 mm. And then I have the rectangle with exactly this size and can place it here. So it doesn't fit, so I take it from here and connect it to the other one. Will also surface. Now I have the example for the cable ducts. And in the next step, we want to have a look on the parts database where to insert our dimensions if you want to place some parts. So we go to the master data and to the parts management. And when we have a look, for example, on this MCCP from Siemens, go to the properties and have here the mounting data. You have the possibility to add a graphic macro here. This is also explained in the other video where the link is in the video description. And you have a little bit lower the dimensions, so high, width and depth. This is very important that you make a decision for your company if you want always use the graphical macros or you want to use the dimensions. It is also possible to mix both together, but it means your 2D panel arrangement later on will have some devices with a graphic macro and some just with the sizes. We will see what happens there later. So if you are sure you have fill in all the data, you can close it. And now we want to place some parts here. Therefore, we just open the 2D panel arrangement navigator. So this means we go to device. And here we have the 2D panel layout navigator. And now, for example, we go to all parts, A1, and have a look, for example, here under the functions GAA, FC. And we can take, for example, this MCB and place it here on our mounting plate. For example, here. What is also possible when you have more devices and you want to uh, each next to each other, you can mark everything and place on mounting plate. And then e plan add everything next to each other. So here you can see that this is a macro. And when we have a look, for example, here on the FC1, this is also a macro. And when we take this one, there are just the dimensions be behind the part. So, and now you can see how it looks later on, on your 2D panel arrangement, when you mixed the, just the dimensions or the macro. What is also possible is that you have a look on your settings. So we go back to File and Settings. To our project, and we have a look on 2D panel layout and here you can select if you want to have the dimensions from the parts master data or macro end dimensions or no, only the macros or whatever. So you have also the possibility to make the settings here according to your preference. So. Now you see that we have too much text here and too much things which are shown and we want to reduce it a little bit. So we start with this one. Have a look on the tab display and here you have all the things you can show on your device. And for example, I don't want to show the part number and also not the type designation of the part. Say OK. And now I also can make the device tag a little bit smaller. So I can change the font size to 1.3 millimeters. And if it's still too big, I have also the possibility to undock these things. Click OK and with 
control B on my keyboard, I can, for example, now take the device tag and place it above my part. So when I shift it now, it looks like this. So and now we can copy the format, go to this one and assign format. And have the same things. So what I'm doing normally is that I just show the legend item. So here the number six and everything else I don't show or I, or I show it later on in the report. So now we have everything placed in one row. And this is how it works when you want to place some devices on your mounting plate. Um, there's also the possibility that you insert a generate low locked area. So that means when you have some area on your mounting plate where should be nothing. And you want to place it here, you get a note that you should not place something there. This is also possible. And what we also can do is here that we fill in some dimensions. So for example, we can measure, for example, the cable duct here. So it's 50 millimeters, or you can also show how big is your mounting plate and so on. You have different types here. For example, this one, you can also use this one if you want to show them more. You go to the center of this. And now you have all these dimensions. So in the next step, we want to generate the report. First of all, we start with also with the settings. We go to tools and go to generate report. So we add here the enclosure legend. I don't make any filter here. Uh, I don't want to set any function designation, the location. I also don't fill in, fill in something. I had the document type, it's ELU1. And that's all. So now we have a look on our settings, output to page. And here you can have a look on the enclosure legend and can select, for example, another form. You don't want to have the standard form or if you have done your own form. The page sorting total, I want to have it according to the install to the location designation. So you have to change it here, structure identifier and check the location designation. Click OK. And when I now click on generate report, ePlan generates our enclosure legend report. So I close it here. And this is the enclosure legend for our mounting plate, what we have done. And now you can see from the panel layout, for example, that here the first MCB has the legend item shown. And this is the legend item one. And the legend item one has, for example, these informations. So it's the device tag FC2 and this type number. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e skills.